Hello, I'm Mike Payne from Christian Voice New Zealand. Today's episode is going to be short and sharp as we head into what New Zealanders know as Waitangi Weekend, which I believe will produce some sensational headlines. But here's the fact of the matter. Both Māori and Pākehā, or non-Māori, all want the same thing, equality, to be treated the same regardless of who your parents are. David Seymour and the ACT Party wants New Zealand as a nation to sit down together to define what the treaty is and what its meaning is to enable this country to move forward. Now Seymour is correct as more people stop listening to the one-sided antagonist with the loudest voices, we'll all come to an understanding that his referendum is about uniting, not dividing a nation. If Māori want to have self-determination, then they need to show us and prove how that looks like. It's all very well banging on about past grievances regarding land, colonisation and health outcomes, but what I want to see is leadership, and I'm talking about real leadership from within Māori, which can unite even their own people. Māoridom's lack of respect for kingitanga indicates it's still got a long way to go. Look, I accept that all Māori don't buy into the principles of kingitanga, but it's an institution, for want of a better word, created by Māori for Māori in the 19th century. Now, while much is being spoken about what uh, is wrong with the current system of government, statistics for Māori continue to be high in mortality, but also crime poor educational outcomes and child abuse. Without getting on a soapbox, but the issues surrounding child abuse are endemic of Māori. While I've got great respect for how Māori treats its elderly, they fail when it comes to its babies. Over the decades, we hear the horror of another child tortured and abused by those who are supposed to love them, only to find death is the only way out of hell. And I know Māori aren't the only ones who commit these type of atrocities, but these cases are so horrific, so appalling, they do grab the headlines. Equally, the wall of silence from those who want to have self-determination as the perpetrators of crime go unpunished. Justice, regardless of the system, still must be seen for the death of the latest high-profile victim of child abuse, the child known as Baby Roo or if you like his full name, Ruthless Empire Soldier Rain Rind Stuart Shepherd Wall. We need to see this justice for this crime, just as we saw it in the death of the Kahui twins, Moko, James Whakaruru, near Glassy, a wall of silence. So my challenge is this, as we head to Waitangi. Ask yourselves, what is it that you're fighting for? Show us, explain to the rest of New Zealand how David Seymour's idea of discussing the treaty is an act to push Māori to one side. But also show us examples of how self-determination, how self-governance will work. You know, for many years Māori have told us what's wrong with the Westminster system that this country operates on. So stop threatening unrest. Instead, show us all, show us your own people how it'll work. Show us how you would have a better economic outlook for all New Zealanders. Show us how you'll produce better health outcomes for all New Zealanders. Show us how you'll have a better educational outcome for all New Zealanders. But most importantly, show us what justice looks like for one of your own, Baby Roo. Until then, everything you're advocating is, as King Solomon put it, he said, I saw that all the toil and all the achievements spring from one person's envy of another. This too is meaningless. It's a chasing after the wind.